Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And once again, another kooky, wacky scientist wants to do something. In this case, I want to resurrect the woolly mammoth. Now, I don't think it needs any introductions. The big elephant like critter that lived in the Arctic a long time ago. Woolly mammoth went extinct in the last ice age thousands of years ago, victim of warming weather and hunting by prehistoric humans. But the mammoth, or rather something very much like it, could be resurrected if Dr. George Church has his way. The Harvard geneticist started with a close relative, the Asian elephant, was using a genetic engineering tool known as CRISPR, an effort to create a mammoth-like elephant capable of thriving in cold regions. So it wouldn't be exactly a mammoth, but it would be very similar. It's not a vanity project. Church thinks reintroducing the mammoth-like animal into parts of the tundra could help curb climate change. So now it's an uh, elephant to the rescue. Unbelievable. This guy's a uh, classic mad science scientist in appearance. By allowing cold resistant elephants and mammoths to repopulate the tundra, Church says they will punch down the snow in the wintertime, allowing cold air to come in, and in summertime they'll knock down trees which are very absorbing. This will help the dead grass start to grow, he explains, and slow the release of carbon from the soil into the atmosphere. Uh, excuse me, but anytime you have dead and decaying things otherwise known as humus, you're going to get a carbon going back into the atmosphere. Plus, these big things are going to put a lot of carbon in the atmosphere. When you simulate this with a real AQ system in Siberia, he says, temperature drop is 20 degrees, which is a really big deal in terms of delaying the release of carbon by melting. So he's going to bring back the elephants to save the world. How do these people get in these positions? Do they take them out of nut houses? So far, Church's team has added 15 genes that will be needed to resurrect the creature, and he says they're well on the way to editing another 30 odd of essential genes. Sounds like a mammoth effort. This is a short article, but, uh,. It's just crazy. The Earth is not going to warm up catastrophically. We don't have the capability short of doing something really, really stupid, like putting a sunlight blocking uh, something in the space to block light to the Earth. And I do that, and then we're all screwed. That would be reason enough to take up arms in that scenario if they're going to block off our sunlight. You betcha. But that's neither here nor there. All they're trying, all these people are trying to do is bring back the woolly mammoth. I don't think it's going to fit in, quite fit into the ecosystem. And it's not going to have any effect on the temperature of the planet. It would be interesting to, you know, see these animals breed and so forth. And woolly mammoth is a darling with people. We all love elephants as an elephant-like critter. wonder what the Russians are going to think about this. 
How are we going to uh, tell the Russians? Oh, by the way, we got to release a bunch of ma woolly mammoths onto, into Siberia. What do you think about this? This is the mental disorder of liberalism, among other things. I mean, come on. We really can't do that much. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.